Department of National Defense steam driven crane and it's 64 years old. It's coming in for a refit. I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome you to the lounge at Victoria Harbor in Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. This is a slow moving yet riveting video capturing an extraordinary moment. As I stood there, I could sense something big was about to unfold. It was a military type barge being tugged through the harbor. It caught my eye. This is no ordinary barge. It's the YD-250, North America's only remaining operational steam-powered crane barge. Part of the Royal Canadian Navy Auxiliary Fleet, this incredible piece of maritime history, dating back to 1957, is entirely powered by steam, the same technology that powered the Titanic. On its way to a refit at Point Hope Shipyard, the YD-250 will soon pass through the iconic Johnson Street Bastille Bridge. As the YD-250 approaches, we come to the Johnson Street Bridge, a true engineering marvel here in Victoria. This is Canada's largest single-leaf bascule bridge and is the fourth to span this stretch of the harbour. Construction of this rolling bascule bridge began in 2013, replacing the previous one, and it officially opened to the public on March 31, 2018. I was there! Watch as the bridge gracefully lifts to make way for the steam-powered YD-250 and just as smoothly lowers back down, reconnecting the city in a seamless blend of past and present. Though you can't see them, you can certainly hear them. I'm surrounded by company on all sides. When something as magnificent as the YD-250 moves through the harbor, it naturally draws a crowd, and rightfully so. Many of us have never witnessed anything quite as unique as this remarkable steam-powered crane barge. Oh my goodness, what a sight it would be to see this incredible machine in action, a true testament to engineering history. The building in the background with the striking green domes, that's the BC Legislature. Victoria is the capital city of British Columbia, and this is where the province's government operates. It's an iconic landmark rich in history and a symbol of the decisions that shape this beautiful province.
The tugboat guiding the steam crane barge through the harbor is the Glendale, a proud member of the Glen class tugs. The Glendale was built right here at Yarrow Shipyard just a few kilometers away in Esquimalt back in 1975. She's one of five Glen class tugboats built for the Royal Canadian Navy. Later in the video, you'll see the Glendale along with the smaller CFAV Lawrenceville as they gracefully depart the harbor heading home back to CFB Esquimalt.
As I stand here on the water taxi dock, capturing the best vantage point to show you all the action, it's truly an impressive sight. Watching the steam crane barge being expertly turned around and maneuvered to the dock at Point Hope Shipyard by the mighty Glendale Tug and the smaller Lawrenceville is nothing short of remarkable. The skill and precision on display, it's like watching poetry in motion. The Lawrenceville is a Ville class harbor tug, built in 1974 for the Royal Canadian Navy by Vito Steel Boat and Barge Construction Limited in Delta, BC. She plays an essential role in our waters and along with the Glendale is stationed at CFB Esquimalt, forming a vital part of our naval fleet. Thanks for finding my channel and watching this video. I'm truly grateful for your support. When you tune in and I make revenue from YouTube, I donate 10% of that revenue to various charitable organizations.
Your support does help make a positive impact, and I thank you. As of editing this video, the steam crane barge is still tied up at the dock at Point Hope Shipyard. She arrived on Friday, and today is Sunday. My best guess is that she'll come out of the water after Thanksgiving weekend on Tuesday morning. I checked the Point Hope Shipyard website to see when the next vessel movement will be, but the site hasn't been updated, so this is my best estimate. I'll do my best to be there to capture the barge being transferred to the cradle lift when it happens. Behind the Glendale and the Lawrenceville, you'll see the iconic Empress Hotel. Not only is it a landmark of Victoria, but it also holds a special place in my family's story. This is where my parents met when they worked here as young adults. My mom was an elevator operator, and my dad was a houseman. After I was born, my dad had a brief career in the forestry industry, but he returned to the Empress and eventually retired after a 35-year career at this magnificent hotel. On this Thanksgiving weekend in Canada, I am truly grateful you visited the lounge at Victoria Harbour in Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. It's been quite a display with tugboats, a steam grain barge, the bridge lifting and lowering, and the beautiful scenery around the harbour. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a positive comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to check out the playlists. There are plenty of great family-friendly videos to explore. My channel is just a small reflection of me and what my monocular vision sees. Thanks so much for your support, and I'll see you in the next video.